Um, the best advice in my career so far would probably be that excellence cannot be denied. That's probably the best advice because it, it's taught me that no matter who you are, what you do, where you come from, as long as you're excellent in whatever you're doing and you can add value in the, the, the realm in which you're trying to influence, you won't, the doors cannot be shut for you. They must open as long as you're excellent in what you do. So that's probably the best thing. So the inspiration for me right now is probably my young family. So they inspire me to, 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 go, to go further in what I'm doing. Um, I've got a little three month old son called Azias and I've got a wife called Alexis, um, both of whom I look at every day and they give me the more fuel to, uh, um, to, do, to push forward and do what I do. Um, back further than that historically, um, it would be my mother who I saw basically go and to bounce to do everything for her loved ones and that sort of inspires me to do the same for mine. So that's sort of where the, the genesis of that sort of inspiration comes from. I have to give props to the Bible. It's taught me all the business sort of principles that I need. Um, obviously you supplement that with other other books um, so other books I do also read is a book I'm actually reading now is how to win how to win friends and influence people which is a very good book um, for someone who's in my sort of position in terms of where you're dealing with lots of people networking with directors managers um, other clients directly um, that, those skills and those principles are very sort of very key for me in this stage of my career so if I was left in a room with just a paper and a, and a pen or a pencil as you said um, I will produce plan I'll produce ideas I'll produce businesses I'll produce concepts I'll produce new ventures that's that's what I'll produce because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a creative and that's what that's what I'll do in that space I'll create no matter what tool I'm given I would say one thing I try to do daily in terms of uh, um, every day is to work with focus and analyze what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Because what I find is people that succeed, and that are succeeding very massively in this sort of era that we're in, are questioning what they're doing. They're rapidly innovating, changing what they do, how they do business. So companies like Amazon, the, the tech industry is obviously a, a massive example of that. And you see companies that don't do that. Um, so a lot of department stores, lots of um, you know traditional businesses are, can't keep up and they're falling in the wayside there. There's liquidations left, right and centre. So I would say one thing that I will do every day is to ensure that I have very clear in my mind the purpose of why I'm doing what I'm doing and if there isn't a purpose of what I'm doing, question why I'm doing it and if need be, make a change. So um, I, li I live in Kent um, and what I like about Kent, sort of uh, recently moving out there because I was born and raised in East London in Leytonstone um, and lived there for 27 years and what I like about Kent is that it's a bit of a switch off from the London life because what I find with a lot of people that live in and amongst the hustle and bustle of London is that you're always thinking about the hustle and bustle. So for me, it's in, it's in a sweet spot between having that little bit of quiet and that little bit of peace at home, but then still being in commutable distance to London to come in and, you know, work my business, go to the office and do what I need to do in terms of pushing forward things with, with my career. So that gives me a good balance in, in the two.